These women are terrified for their lives as the police have just caught their stalkers in the act. So if you want to see how they handle these insanely obsessive men that are following these women around for no reason other than to torment them, make sure you watch until the very end as this one is quite insane. Moving into our first interaction here, we have the police officer making contact with the stalker in front of a restaurant that this woman works at. And let's just see how things go. Hi, right, Deputy Struble. Trying to find, so, so these people, they just called me a addict. Okay. In there. Okay. And I'm trying to, I have it on my phone from my doctor, blood work, and they're trying to treat me for ADHD. Okay, so Matt, real quick, just so you know, everything's being recorded today, all right? Yep. Red flag number one, everybody knows this. If a police officer comes up to you and you think that you're in trouble and you just start rambling off random facts without the officer even asking you anything and you're just offering up all this different types of information, chances are you're probably guilty. But let's just hear this dude ramble on and see if he starts to make any sense. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Um, so Bay Breeze does not want you back in the restaurant. You're a trespasser there. Okay. Okay. I'm not going in the restaurant. Okay, if you go in there again, you will be arrested for trespassing, okay? Well, that gal, Charlene and that gal need to stop calling me a addict. Okay. Because it's hurting me. Okay, so you need to, to stop emailing you need to stop emailing and leaving the messages, or I'm gonna arrest you for stalking and harassment. Well, that's what they're harassment. That's what I want to charge them with. If they ever You're the one that keeps coming here. Again. And you're the one that sends listen, emails. Listen. And the officer even has to cut him off. Like, dude, before you get too in-depth on this whole ADHD spiel, which I think whatever he's dealing with right now is definitely more than just ADHD, as he's been obsessively following this woman around, we're going to find out. But the police officer has to just cut him off because he realizes this dude is a yap master and is just going to be absolutely blabbering on unless he tells him to stop. 15 years, that guy, the one in there was my girlfriend. I know. For, for five kids. She didn't have a job a single moment. I left her, and then she... She, she was having a mental breakdown, and she had a, holes in her, a hole in her body, and she was a sponge hole, and I had to help her. I lifted her out of that, like, she was going to freaking But, anyhow, I needed a break at that time. And already, dude is sounding very aggravated dealing with this police officer. It sounds like he thinks that the woman that he's stalking is somehow defaming his name by saying he's an addict and all this other stuff. When in reality, she's probably trying to explain to her co-workers why this weird guy seems to be following her to her work and place of business day in and day out and pestering her. Also, just judging from his behavior, I don't know if she's completely off base with that. Because it sounds... Un 42, three words directly across the street to the south. Like, I take on, obviously... I took on that project at 25 years old and she was 32, but whatever, ages don't matter. And this dude is just rambling and the cop is just letting him at this point. I don't know what this strategy is, but he's really reliving their entire 15 year saga of love and lust and disappointment. Whatever all the emotions are that are bottled up into the story here, this guy is really going through it as if we give a damn about this entire spiel. The core of this is he needs to not be here and he needs to not show up to this restaurant anymore. And honestly, the police officer kind of needs to just tell him that straight up. But I didn't even think about that as like a task. Okay, so why did you come here today? To get fries. You just, and I did get fries. Why didn't you go to the Shores or one of the other restaurants? Why do you have to go to where Charlene's working? Dude, it doesn't matter if Charlene's working there. They just got the best damn fries, okay? You can't judge the place for having good Yukon gold potatoes that they cut in these delicious golden salty fries that I just want to eat, all right? I mean, yeah, my ex of 15 years has been there, but and I do kind of want to talk to her, but still, I just wanted some fries. Why not? Well, they're harassing you. Why would you show up here? You said they're harassing you. Why would you show up here? That makes no sense. They weren't harassing me. It was just Charlene, but her damn... So then the cop kind of flips over uh, his statement that he made earlier about him wanting to press charges against Charlene, the woman that he's stalking for stalking. I know that sounds confusing, but he uses this logic against him and is like, dude, if you're the one that's being harassed, why are you willingly showing up here? That kind of paints a different picture, doesn't it? Okay, so she's harassing you, but you show up here to get more. More harassment or more what? That's a relative. No, it's not a relative. It is until now until they accept this guy literally argues like a five-year-old like something about this is so funny to me i know this is a very dark situation but just the way that he's battling with this cop uh, actually it is a relative even though i did just make up that word it literally is a relative like it makes sense in my head so i'll just accept it okay it's kind of like earlier when he said you can't show up to the restaurant and he was like i'm not in the restaurant it just sounds like some annoying bratty kid that you're playing tag with that's like no puppy guarding you tagged my shirt not me i didn't feel it so it doesn't count so you so drove here yeah. With no license yep. to get fries from her restaurant where she's working right now. That sounds like stalking to me. That's a felony crime. Stalking. Yes, stalking. Well, then she's the stalker. Because she's at her work and you showed up? Yep. 
Okay. So how is how is she stalking you? I'd like to know. Um, well, I have all of the documentation right here. Okay, how does that logic work, my guy? He, he just described what stalking is, and you are textbook stalking right now. He keeps trying to play this damn Uno reverse card, and it just really is not working. Also, he doesn't have a license, which is quite crazy. Like, this dude is just in violation of so many laws at once. It's kind of insane. So I lifted her out of eight years at that place. I left you had, guys had a lot of history there. I know. Uh, we're dealing with what's going on right now. Okay. Because you guys are broken up. Well, right? She pleaded me, said, Matt, I thought we were going to grow old together. I'll prove my love to you. Um, I won't neglect you anymore. I won't bring up the past. And I was relying on that just to be able to, like, just... Just not be mean, because I have not been able to heal for two years. And the police officer is really trying to keep this guy grounded in the present, because you can tell this dude's obsession and his mental just derangement over this woman and their entire relationship is really focusing on a lot of things in the past, which, like I said, this woman could have been an entirely different person even a couple of years ago when a majority of their story happened. Whatever it might be, things and situations change, and this dude is just grasping on to the fact that, you know, this woman supposedly loves him, but really he's just tormenting her. So it's good that the police officer is trying to keep him grounded in reality and in the present, but it's not very effective. And according to this guy, this woman's just pleading with him that uh, she wants him to stay. I guarantee if he were to pull up those messages, any of those times she might have said that was probably years ago, before she realized just how crazy and kind of dangerous this dude in this situation truly is. I don't know what evidence you're looking for on your phone, but you find it, why don't you show it to my partner? I'm gonna go back and talk to Charlene and the manager yeah. real quick, okay? Hang tight. He's not free leave. So this dude gets impatient of speaking with this guy outside and goes in to speak to Charlene, the woman who is the target of this harassment. Let's hear what she has to say. So what's going on with you and Matt right now? Huh? What's going on with you and Matt right now? With me? Yeah, you and Matt. Matt. Okay. I had him removed from my trailer and I yeah. kept telling him every day, leave me alone, leave yeah. me alone. I'm getting ready to move. Okay. And he's like, I just want to see you. I just want to be with you before you leave. Oh, and I said, no, you're not welcome at my trailer anymore. Like, leave me alone. So, yeah, this woman had to kick him out of her trailer. It sounds like a very tumultuous relationship where they are just not clicking and things are not meant to be. And this guy cannot accept that. It's kind of a classic case. It's probably one of the leading reasons that people begin stalking in the first place is just not being able to take a hint that, you know, things aren't going to work out with the person of their dreams. But I truly do feel bad for this woman, and you could tell just how over the situation she truly is. So, Talk to, are you wanting to do anything about coming around? I'm trying to trust about some restaurant. Yeah, then he will not come around here. He doesn't know where I'm at. I'm from hiding his spot where he can't lie anywhere. And if he shows up there, they see his car there anyways, they will call the police no matter what. So he so far hasn't found me. I've been out there for a while. This is why I find us for Okay. She is dead ass hiding from this dude in some random place with a bunch of other trailers and she told her neighbors and the people living in her community to look out for this guy's car. That's how bad the stalking has become. And a lot of people might underestimate cases like these but you know stalking usually leads to some pretty serious dire stuff if it's not nipped in the bud very quickly by the police and law enforcement so I'm thankful that this guy's doing his due diligence and responding to this case accordingly. At least we have the documentation started, okay? Well, I have called the police because he tried to break in my trailer at the state park. Yeah. So, and he had no trespassing from there, yep. and he still showed up there in the middle of the night. And... and it sounds like this dude has been, you know, previously trespassed in different areas where this woman is a regular at, and even then he's violating those no trespass restrictions that are basically put onto him. So, yeah, this guy is not afraid of the law getting in the way of him and his woman, and that is very terrifying. You're trespassed from the restaurant. Do not go back in there. You'll be arrested, okay? First, I'm trespassing from this whole okay. town because okay. the Asians... Okay, and the, I'm not finished. The lady at the Asian store, or not the Asian store, the Asian lady at the Birch Bay Park store, when me and her were staying at Beachwood, she told the people that worked there that I was, that I stole some this basket thing from out the dumpster. So he goes back out to tell this dude he's been trespassed and he starts going on this crazy, sounds like possibly dicey rant about this Asian lady that works at the convenience store near him that was making up lies about him stealing from the dumpster. I don't know, it sounds like this dude has a lot of anger against people in his community who are calling him out on basically being a psycho and he doesn't like that. So now he's just obsessively following these people, trying to right their wrongs somehow. Nothing more, to do with today. It felt more. It does. Anastasia is forwarding me the emails you've been it sending to her. If you continue to email Anastasia and call the restaurant, I'm going to arrest you for harassment. The manager at the bar. 
She's forwarding all the emails. So if you continue to harass the bar, you're going to get arrested for harassment. Is that clear? So finally, in closing of this scenario, the cop finally lays out just how clear and cut and dry the situation is. You are not to show up around Charlene's place of work anymore. Don't show up to where she lives. Don't follow her. And if we find out that you're going to keep doing this, you will be arrested for, you know, the felony that is stalking and harassment. Now, this dude's car hasn't been registered in three years either, so they're going to let him go somehow. I don't know how that works, but, you know, you'd figure with this guy already committing another crime and then driving without a license and without a car that's been updated with the state, like, I just don't get how he's getting away scot-free, but he is, and that's not without a little bit of extra ranting and rambling at the end. I know you guys have a lot of past, a lot of bad past. I know. I was there for a lot of it. What is this? I, I don't know. What is it? I can't see. I don't know. That's from her. This is from 2021, dude. Yes, what? That's two years ago, two and a half years ago. So? so what? This is not current as relevant to as what's going on right now. It is. It is not. Unless you have something from a couple days ago, or within a couple days, I'm not dealing with it. She wants nothing to do with you. Okay, you need to get a trip permit and a licensed driver. And in closing, he's like, finally, I found the evidence I've been scrolling on my phone this entire time for. Look at this, man. What the hell is this that she sent me? And he shows him this random picture from 2021. I absolutely called it. This dude is hung up on the past and can't get the hint that he has no place in this lady's life anymore. But anyways, if you thought this dude was psycho and you thought this stalking was bad, wait until you hear the second case, which we're about to get into. I don't want to spoil too much, but this guy has definitely elevated and escalated things much further than this first case. My ex-boyfriend is currently stalking me and has put numerous GPS trackers on my vehicle. He followed me around last night, so I believe that he currently still has one on there. I, I looked under there and I can't find one. That doesn't mean there isn't one there. That's right. This dude has been following this woman around and putting trackers on her vehicle in order to gain information on where she's going so that he can continue the stalking. But it only gets worse from here. So there's an investigation for that, but I haven't even been contacted this whole last week mm -hmm. over that. This is still a situation. Okay, where like, did he follow like, you last night? Like what? Just like, kind of give me a walk through we what We were happened. at UTC. And you can hear the desperation in this woman's voice. It sounds like she has really been in, you know, talks with law enforcement, trying to get this sorted out and really trying to explain to them how serious of a situation this is becoming because that's another thing with stalking cases. They just escalate over time and people get more and more desperate and more and more deranged and reality starts to fade a little bit to where you can find yourself in a very dangerous and scary situation without even realizing things had gotten that bad until it's too late. I mean, I don't know, but I know. <laughs> okay. Like, he's always around. This is, like, not... I feel like I'm being driven crazy over this. So this is, like, an ongoing thing, and now I've got my stepdad here involved, and it's like, this is nonstop, and it's not going away. And this poor lady with her, you know, inability to have law enforcement work at a pace that she thinks is appropriate for the seriousness of this case, she's kind of been gaslit into thinking that she's just making a big hubbub about nothing, and I feel bad for the woman. You could tell she's really had an emotional toll being taken on her by being a subject to this stalking. It just is, it's got to really mess with your brain in many ways that I can't even fathom. So he drinks a certain particular beer. If you want to go in the back, we ditch. can show you all the cans. There's cans back there, so mm. he's parking on, on the other property. side. And if things weren't psycho enough, they found a ditch behind their house that has a very specific can, which is the same brand that this guy tends to like to drink. And they only found those cans in this random ditch behind their house, a.k.a. he's been driving there and, I don't know, wallowing in his own sorrows as he stares into her house and watches her. That is one of the creepiest things I've ever heard. It's not right. going away. We and can I, show you I, where I they're feel at. Like I, and you can My take mom them. is like, you're going to end up before you guys do something, which right. is really sad. Like, it makes well, me want to cry. Like, this is not going away. Has he messaged you at all on your phone? <laughs> Nonstop. <Anything like that? laughs> okay. What, what is he? Have you asked him to stop? He's yes. admitted to putting stock, uh, putting uh, tracking on devices. My car. And, and you have message. you have all of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it sounds like this woman is literally on the verge of tears. I mean, she does break into tears here talking about it. As you can hear that she is really trying to plead with the officer to take her seriously on this case. And that is something that is very difficult with law enforcement and these stalking cases. They, of course, want to gather enough evidence so that they can put the person away for good and get, you know, enough to where they can really lock them up for the crime that they did. Because if they act too early with too little, you know, the person can get away and things can escalate in other terrible ways. But just the way that they have to handle it is not sufficient for this woman and she's laying awake every night worried what the hell is this guy gonna do he's already taping you know tracking devices to my car and watching me in my house what's the next logical step 
I haven't wanted to get my parents involved、mm. because I just wanted this to go away. You live here by It's yourself. It's not going away. No, no I, you, they,、okay. I live with them. You live with them. You guys、Apparently. have kids. Because I、up. got out of his house to come here over a year ago. Like、right. this、yeah. is not okay. So this lady left this crazy relationship that she had with this man in order to live with her parents just to get away from him, and that's why he can't take the hint. And he is just showing up, much like the dude in the last case, over and over and tormenting her with his presence. And her daughter's boyfriend <laughs> has video of him saying that he. Put the, them on there. The, the boy said we found four trackers. You put on there. He said no, I only put two on there. And this guy also is just dumber than a bunch of rocks because this woman's daughter's boyfriend confronted this guy and said, "Dude, we know that you put four tracking devices on my mother-in-law's car. Like, what the hell?" And the guy was like, "No, I didn't put on four. I only put on two trackers. You guys can't prove anything." Like so, that is straight up admitting that he is putting these trackers on there. And I'm sure we're gonna have more evidence than that to do something about this guy. This is the original one that I opened, but these—well, my hands have been on them. Okay, those are what he put in on your car. Underneath, yes. Okay. So then, this was the last thing that was found with no phone in it. <laughs> okay. Okay. And his name is on this. Like, it, it currently doesn't have any power. I turned、right. it on, and his name is on here. Like, he's not very bright. So now the woman is showing him the devices that she found, and I really thought that these were going to be Apple AirTags or something a little bit more discreet. No, this dude is buying straight up like Boost mobile phones, paying for some prepaid minutes, and taping them to her car so that he can have information and maybe do remote recordings of her whereabouts and what she's talking about and things that she's you know going out and doing. That is. One absolutely psycho and two hilariously old school and just like the worst way to do that. Are they are they all phones or、uh -huh. where did you find them when you found them on your car? I different spots. I mean, there's tape under my car that you can、mm -hmm. see. Where the tape is、it. still there.、So、I ripped one of them. Throw on the headlight wire. Yeah, yeah. Just, Power lights. Yeah, they're in the wheel well. There's, they're all trying to be hidden, but not very much.、Well. Right. And here you can see the woman's daughter and her boyfriend there. And they're talking about all the wild places they found this these cameras. They're very obviously being put on this car in order to remain hidden. And it's scary to think about what if there's ones that they still haven't found or that aren't on her car and other pieces of her property that are just actively giving this dude information on her whereabouts. I, I feel like I need you guys to do something. He's admitting he's like coming to the police station. He says, "I just put trackers on my girlfriend's car. See you later." Right. Can't you pick Which, him up this minute? We can't pick him up this minute.、Um, You know, I I get what you're saying, but based on the elements that you need for the harassment and stalking, there's a couple additional. Well, can't you at least pick him up and question him today? I mean, I'll go talk to him. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Once I'm done here, I'll go talk to him and and you know see what his deal is and. They'll knock it off. And you can hear the frustration from this woman's stepdad, who is, you know, very involved in the situation. This is his house that this guy is showing up to and stalking. And you can hear the frustration in his voice too. I'm sure he is also afraid for this woman's safety. And they think if you don't act immediately, something really bad could happen, which is very common in stalking cases, much like I said. And the cop gives some very hilarious、uh, advice of what he's going to say. I'm going to find where he is. And I'm gonna tell him to knock it off. Like, dude, you might need to tell him a little bit more than knock it off because clearly this dude is not gonna stop until he gets what he wants. He's insane. I'm no, telling you, this is、all. not okay. This is not going. Like, I. And you're 100% him... sure that's his car? Yes.、Okay. Yes. How often does he drive by here? No, nonstop. He like sends me things to know、no. that he's here.、Yeah. Like when I was at the parade、uh, with my mom and my family, he sent me a picture of where I sort of was. Okay. Like, it's you like, still have all that, it, right? Yeah, it's like to show here I am. And in a very weird, twisted turn of events, it sounds like this dude also is taunting this woman with the knowledge that he is following her. So he'll send her photos near where she's at, so that she can put the pieces of the puzzle together and realize that he's been following her the entire day. And there is just something so psycho about that. Obviously, the stalking is already psycho, but that is just another couple levels of insanity that I just truly cannot handle. Has he ever been physical with you? Yes. In, in the past, yes. yes. Did you report it or just? There's. He's been arrested for it. Okay. Manatee okay. County. Okay. Yep. All right. And as if things weren't scary enough, there is also a proven, reported track record of this man laying his hands on this woman. So he is not, you know, incapable of violence. Let's just say that is a recipe for disaster. And I really do get why this woman is pleading with the cops at this point to take her seriously and to move this case along. Here, right here, if you come this way, you can see. Well, 
I'll show you. But if you go like this, you can see the tape. If you come this way, oh, I see the it. plastic tape. Yep. Yeah, and then under here. And in closing of this interaction, the police officer is actually shown, you know, places on the car where there is still tape, where you can see this dude has attached these phones. And I think with that information, they were able to place a warrant. And now we're going to see the conclusion of this four days later where they were able to track this guy down and make an arrest. Hey, 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 hey buddy. Me. We'll explain everything in a second, okay? Don't yeah. be reaching nothing. All right. Just turn around face. Okay. That's all right. Come down. On the line. So this dude's getting arrested and he's immediately like, I got the deputy on the line. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I'd be in trouble, but I've got a deputy on the line. So you can't arrest me without talking to him. Like, that's not how it works. I don't care if you're friends with the cop. You're still getting arrested for breaking the law and they do have a warrant out for your arrest. So good luck with fighting them on that. You have a warrant for your arrest. The juice goes on the phone with Hamill. Okay. okay. We don't know who Hamill is. We have we an inside. We work for the city. We don't yeah. work for the county. I checked your phone, Mr. Luke, and the deputy hung up. So... He says I don't have any warrants. You do? It actually just got issued today, so that's probably why. He didn't know. And this dude isn't saying much in the arrest, but I kind of think he knows what's going on. Uh, he also, much like the last guy, has very clear indications that something is just not going on right in his brain as he reacts with some very strange faces and just looks like he's straining and like is really having a tough time processing that he's getting locked up for this. So in conclusion, he gets arrested and he's almost acting like very childish and there's like a fawn response going on, which is very confusing to me. Maybe he thinks that makes him seem less of a threat, but clearly this man has been identified as the threat he is and he did get arrested for multiple felonies of stalking this woman. So if you thought these stories were interesting, make sure you drop a sub and make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss future uploads as I'm going to be making a lot more body cam reactions. And as always, thanks for watching till the very end. Till next time, peace out.